What's up traders? This is V Trades, and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Tesla with the ticker symbol TSLA. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So Tesla continues to collapse down lower. You can see that this bearish momentum is still intact ever since it started back here on December 28th at the 260 level, and it's been trading down all the way to the 210 level so far. So you can see the bearish momentum uh, is still within this downward trend line, so that means it's very strong uh, towards the downside. Price is below the EMA, obviously, and is headed towards the support level at the 209, which we're currently at. That's a minor one. The major one is at the 196, 197. So that's where uh, price is headed as of right now. It's headed lower. Reason being is that the bears uh, were stronger than the bulls. Uh, the bulls tried to make another leg up. This was one leg up, and this was the start of the second leg. And you can see it started fighting resistance here at the 257, 260 level. If you zoom out a little bit further, you can see there's a downward trend line at that level. And also there was this downward channel in play. Normally when price breaks a channel, you expect two attempts in that direction. So uh, more likely than not, this is just the trend line, you know, dropping down the price than this channel here. Uh, but either way, you know, since price is still reversing down, uh, we're probably going to, the bears are going to be trying to make a another leg down. We already had two small legs. Those two small legs can make one large leg that I drew with this arrow. If we move that over to the next swing, that would be the target of 160. So we'll see if the bears can get there, but that is the technical target for the shorts. The first one is uh, at the 197, and the next one is at the 160. So it looks like it's trying to take back uh, this entire move up right here. You see that price just moved up in a straight line. And it looks like it's slowly coming back to take that entire move up higher. So we'll see if the uh, bears can do that. They are attempting to do that. It's not going to be guaranteed, just like how the bulls failed to reach their target. Um, all these arrows and drawings are just, you know, looking at the imbalance going on. I'm not drawing random arrows on the chart. I'm not like, oh, okay, look at that arrow. No, it's, it, does not work. it doesn't work like that. I'm looking at uh, the strength of the the bears and the bulls. So the arrow is just uh, the tool I used uh, to show the strength of the bears and the bulls. So for example, uh, we had the strength of the bulls about this much, and then you know in the future it can do about the same, and look what happened, price started finding resistance around that arrow. Same thing for the shorts, there was one leg down here, this could be the start of the second leg, price reached it, reversed, and now you can see the bulls fail to reach there. Uh, similar sized leg, which means if the bulls could not do a similar sized leg as the past, that means they are weaker than they were. Uh, so that can lead to a sell off. And if it's at if it's at a resistance, uh, they're showing signs of weakness, and then boom, you see that you know there's um, a lot more negative than bearish signs and positive signs, uh, a lot more bearish signs than bullish signs. Price will be dropping lower. So you see the price is dropping lower, and again looking for the 197 and then the 160. Let's take a look at the weekly. Here's a look at the weekly. We have um, three consecutive, four consecutive red weeks in a row. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a red week uh, for Tesla. I don't think it's gonna recover this drop. It can, I don't think it will. We'll have to wait and see. Again, we do have support level approaching at the you know low 200s, high 190s. So maybe that will be a bottom. We'll have to wait and see. There's this trend line right here. I can't be bullish on uh, Tesla until it breaks this trend line. You can see that we have three touches Right back over here, this is the first one right here. This is the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. So you can just say these two are just one. Either way, it's still six. So six touches on this trend line, including the starting point. Um, so, I mean, obviously the bulls would need to break through this trend line uh, if it wants to continue moving up higher. So even if we do get a bounce here, I want to see a break of the trend line and then, you know, a pull back for another leg up higher. So that would be... Uh, the good situation for the bulls. As right now, it's headed lower, and if it's below this trend line, it can trend down lower and lower further than most people think. So that's all I have for Tesla on the daily and weekly chart. Uh, basically, you know, it's looking bearish. Most likely, it'll continue to stay bearish in the short term, maybe even, you know, the medium term. We do have earnings report coming out next week, Wednesday, uh, and that might, you know, drop price even more uh, than it already has. So that's all I have for Tesla on the daily and weekly charts. This is VTrades, and thank you for your time. The V Trades Technical Analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now.